Hi, everyone. We're, We're the Sunset Pictures. I'm EJ. Gary. And I am Shelia. And I don't know why I'm always so excited to say that, but so, I am. So you can tell Shelia's got a sweatshirt on. Yes. I've got short sleeves and shorts on because I'm always hot. <laughs> I've got <laughs> hot here. You're hot too? Yes. First of all, the heater's on. Oh, God. It's only. 65 degrees i know it's only like 63 degrees and the heater's on so hey listen i, I woke up to an 80 yeah. degree house i woke up to an 80 degree house i said i can't i can't i can't live like this <laughs> i wouldn't wake up i'd say i'd be sleeping still <laughs> so hot i would have to put on the ceiling fan it was hot <laughs> no the ceiling fans have never been turned off since we moved to florida 10 years ago <laughs> really <laughs> My my, I have a ceiling fan in my bedroom. That one does stay on almost all yeah. year round. Yeah, yeah. I did it's turn awesome. it off last night, however. But here we are complaining about sixty-five and fifty degree weather when there's people you out there that are minus, minus 20. something. So, yes, so yeah. we do understand the perspective. But we moved we here do. for a reason, yes. <laughs> and this was the only reason we we put up with the traffic and the drivers and everything else. That's exactly. <laughs> want to be toasted <laughs> exactly right i mean yeah so somebody in uh ivy was like she was talking about negative 49 degrees i so yes because i'm like what yeah 49, <laughs> negative 49 degrees celsius i can't even fathom how yeah. cold that was well, I, I remember i remember the times in in germany it was cold um 11 months out of the year we had one month of uh in August, it was like 70 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For, for three days. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like, I said, there's no way I'm not living like this. <laughs> I don't you live like this. Well, <laughs> oh, look, it's Miami Heat. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Worcester, Massachusetts for seven years. And um, yeah. That is super cold. They they're in the same climate belt mm -hmm. as um, uh, Syracuse, New York, Buffalo, with everything that comes off yeah. the uh, the lake kind of gets right. that mm -hmm. same zone. Well, you you know you're in a cold place when it's not normal to have air conditioning. Correct. Yeah. Don't, don't say that. But besides, what are we about anyway? Now so that we've done the weather. We have totally <laughs> done the weather. We're a weather station oh. now. Yeah, yeah. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Yes. <laughs> which is about Counted Cross Stitch. And we are so glad that you've decided to be with us today. And yes, there may be another rabbit hole or two because that's what we that's, do. Let me well, I mean, we are focused on weather because EJ's doing her temperature chart and we were cold. <laughs> yes, oh, that's right, you get it. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful this month when I yes. actually start stitching on it. Exactly. <laughs> You're already, what, 15 days behind? I mean, it's okay. It's okay. You got all year. Yeah. I'm all year. Yeah. January done. Remember that? Remember Wimco? <laughs> we have all year to finish it. But you never said what year. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> well, we appreciate your comments and questions. We read them during the week. And um, we had some great ones uh, this week. Number one from Jerry P., uh, we were talking about the long dog uh, that EJ is doing. Um, you belong to me. Yes, thank you. You belong to me. She she offers an explanation. She says I thought she, she was singing a song to us too. Is that the one? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so you belong to me. Reference she believes is a reference to a song from the '60s by uh, the Dupree's. From did she say proof by who? No, I clicked the link and I saw the the, the video. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Dupree's, mm -hmm. and it says um, it went see the pyramids along the Nile, watch a sunset on a tropic isle. Just remember, darling, all the while you belong to me. So that was kind of kind yeah. of yeah. Okay. So I, it sounded right to me because. How often do you get a phrase like that associated yeah. with Egypt and yeah. Nile? And did that did that match the story that was on the pattern? 
Because I thought last time you said I, forgot, I did read the story. I forgot. She talked about elements of the um, of oh, the a sampler. Of the, yeah, of the design. Yeah. Like, why is it two humped camels and three rats running across? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, someone, and I'm sorry, I didn't write down who asked if Ronnie stitches in the same direction as Gary, which is what, which direction does his top, top leg go? Did, did, so the question is, did Ronnie get corrupted? Yes, no, no, that no. Was... Ronnie is stitching the correct way like Gary. <laughs> and so the answer to the question is yes, Ronnie, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie was talked by Gary, so he's a right-handed and he's stitching with the left-handed way, like I do. Yes, <laughs> but my mind is left-handed, but schools made me right-handed. So, uh, Kim K, we were talking, you know, again, this whole conversation about we need to make a decision soon. What our next uh, drinking thing? Yeah, we do, be. don't we, EJ? We yeah, do we decide. Do. So she suggested she had three options. Whoa. One, EJ can't find something and has to go rooting around for it. That's my number one choice. But I think we already do that. Don't we take a break and a nap? I think we almost do, yes. You do cut a lot of that out. Yes. <laughs> Shelia gives the side <laughs> <so wrong. laughs> she, Number two, Shelia gives the side eye to someone, most often Gary. That's it, Gary. Gary got it. There I you go. Notice it. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> I should watch the video closer. I'll put it on the bigger screen. <laughs> now you watch your eyeballs. Yes. I'm too more worried about being poked under the table, and she wants me to watch her eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> or, or and this is the one. Gary oh. says the word green. Oh, did you a green shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't last 20 minutes before somebody had to get up and use the restroom. <laughs> exactly. And, and what she said in closing was any one of those would put us in AA. If that's what you partake of. Yeah. I wouldn't put Kahlua in my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Might not make it through the video. Yeah. <laughs> Gary be falling off his chair. Uh, Susan H. Gary wants to know how you tackled the border for Santa's workshop. She started the Jim Shore Santa's workshop that hung on the wall throughout December. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess she's finding something about the border challenge. Well, the, the border is kind of confetti heavy. Mm. Um, I didn't stitch the yellow background on the border because my fabric was yellow and the floss colors almost matched the fabric. So it was kind of a waste for me. Mm -hmm. But I do recall that I did it in a, in a small sections and I did the green leaves first, the vine first for a little bit. And then I would fill in the flower and then I just kept going through. So you did small part, part right. parts yeah. of it. And then after all the stitching was done, then I went back and did the beading because mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff is beaded too. Which actually leads to the next kind of question. Someone asked about the, and again, this being Mirabilia, um, Nora Corbett month, uh, Garon designer focus, hashtag Garon designer focus. <laughs> so you thought you said it wrong last week and you, you said it right the whole You're time. Right. I did. I, I know, did. I was like impressed. I was too. <laughs> I was quite impressed. But someone asked a question about the order of stitching, back stitching beading okay. and I thought oh that that's kind of I do my cross stitching first and that's all the cross whether it's fractionals or full crosses right me too uh then if there's crinic I I I tend to it depends on how much sometimes I will do crinic next but a lot of times I'll do the crinic as part of the cross stitching part of it. And that to me, it depends on how I feel mm -hmm. because crinic, I have to use a threader. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just don't feel like pulling the threader out, even though it's stuck on my lamp right next mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And I just want to keep stitching because mm -hmm. it's uh, crinic is a little bit slower for me to stitch. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, I still got to go back and do it. But. Yeah. Yeah. And then bead last. Back stitch, then bead. Oh, that's right. Backstitch. Yeah. But now, a caveat to that: if you're using a scroll rod mm -hmm. and 
because the reason I do it in that order is because you don't want your threads to be caught on the beads if you beat it as you went. Mm -hmm. But if you're on a scroll rod, you just roll it down. You can do everything on the top True. and keep coming on down. And, and what a lot of people do, they'll put a piece of fabric felt or something on top of what they've stitched so when they roll it doesn't snag it doesn't snag okay yeah so what about you ej <clears throat> sorry i finished i i think i finished right. my things wrong oh. i'm sorry what you said <laughs> go ahead i finished all my stitch then i work on my um crinic and then i do beating okay yeah yeah <laughs> yeah no that's that's the same thing yeah answer the question <laughs> but what, what i found interesting was mother moon you did a lot of your fractional stitches Afterwards. after you did your full crosses which you won't do never that again. Again. Never, never again never again yeah it was just too much yeah yeah. yeah, I realized I picked a piece up that I had skipped the fractional stitches, and I have no idea why I would ever do that. Mm -hmm. It took me a nightmare to find out. I don't know what piece it was. I totally blanked out on what it was. Yeah, yeah. It was awful. <laughs> no, cross stitching, then back stitching, mm -hmm. then crinic, crinic, and then beads. No, see, I would do definitely do my crinic before my backstitch because sometimes if you've already backstitched, then your crinic might hide some of the backstitch. Backstitching is done to accentuate. Yeah. So, so but usually the crinic doesn't go over like because they want shine to come through. They don't usually backstitch over the crinic. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, yeah. Or or if the back stitch is lying next to crying. Yeah. It's not on top of it. It's yeah, next to it's it. It's next to it. Um then your back stitch will actually then I will do yeah, you're right. Then I will do the full crosses and then back stitch. Whatever full cross means. Full cross yeah, full, full cross and fractionals. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that's our general order, uh, the way things roll <laughs> um and somebody asked about ej's list for her of the sulky threads that she's using in the stitch and mommy butterfly temperature chart okay you have three seconds list them <laughs> <laughs> luckily they're in the description box <laughs> thank you shelia for typing them up you're welcome you're welcome yes so they're in the description box. And so the way the description, the description box is a copy and paste. You, there's no formatting or anything that you can do. So they're all kind of listed in there, but the formatting of it, use of punctuation marks, I think, help to delineate a range, a temperature and a color. They're, they all look the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can, because sometimes there's a range of, like 78 to 79 comma color number. Okay. Then sometimes it's just one temperature number, 81 comma color number. Okay. So, okay. and then so your, so your comma is differentiate, is separating the temperature versus the, uh, the sulky number. The sulky number. And then between there's a semicolon. Oh. <laughs> because it's a list. It's a list. Oh, so it's not listing down. No, because it was too long. It was it was good. Yeah, because we only have so many uh, lines in the description. Box. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much you put in a line. You right. only have like 178 right. lines or something. Or some, yeah. 150 lines or something. Yeah. <clears throat> so it, it looks like a paragraph of numbers, but yeah. You'll figure it out. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want it that badly. <laughs> It's there. <laughs> EJ's information is at the end of the video. <laughs> somebody already, um, somebody, um, I believe Kate, Kate, she messaged me about my sulky colors, um, Stitchy Aardvark in, in, on Instagram. She messaged me about the sulky colors and I sent her the actual picture and um, she went to get some sulky. She bought some sulky to, to oh, do. Oh, nice. Nice. Does she live in Florida? No. 
but she changed it. I, she changed the range, but she like I guess she liked the range of colors. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. And she changed the temperature, but it, um, our temperature is very. It's not too far out. I do think. Okay. All right. Okay. So who has finishes this week? The, what do we call a finish? The finish like, is that you've completed the cross stitching and all the stitching, all the beading, the, all the back. Oh. Yeah, all you're no. doing is waiting for framing. Yes. Oh no, no, no finishing. Okay. How no, about no? no. Okay. You? No, no oh. finishes this week. We okay. needed the space for the description box, so we have no. <laughs> <laughs> Because of EJ's 12 million colors for her temperature. And it's only normally one temperature in Florida anyway, except for today. Yeah. <laughs> it was 70. The high yesterday was 73, which was really good. Usually we're in the 80s, 90s. Yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, starts. Any, I don't have a start this week. EJ? No. Nope. I have a start. Oh, Gary yeah, has a start. I started a um, Silla Witches on mm, yeah. January 13th with uh gail for her birthday start and this, nice let me get it up it's my little bit. frankenstein he's a page clipper oh how cute and heather gave me that last night oh there okay and this it was is... a one-day start so i pulled it out that looks good yeah, is that the core yeah. fabric uh no this is a 32 count pumpkin from fiber on a whim it's very close to the called for. It's very, the very close. is a 40 count. It was stitched on a 40 count. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. you're the 40 count too, Gary? No, 32. No, you're like and I'm 30. using the called for uh, floss. It's only two colors. Uh, Swamp Water by Gentle Art by um, Weeks Dye Works and Guacamole. Oh, how cute. Yeah. There you so go. It was really you got your green, you got your green uh, witch. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. cute. I know. I love a person who knows. Which has got to be green. So how big is it going to be? Okay, you see how big the witch is? Yeah. Oy. Oy. <laughs> but it went pretty fast. That was only one day. Yeah. So that was pretty fun. So I'm really glad Gail wanted to stitch this with me. And because um, I've been wanting to stitch this since it came out. And luckily, Fiber on the Women finally came out with a fabric that I said, ooh, that's it. Because I, I wasn't sure what fabric. I had like all these oranges and I just wasn't sure which one. I'm looking at the, how do you spell the name? Oh, like in silhouette. Yeah. Yes. Silo witches. Yeah. So I started this, but Teresa Co gets months, not till December. So I don't know if I'm going to pick it up till December. The CW sample. Oh, Teresa Kogut. Yeah. Oh. But I might um, take it with me this weekend. Oh, okay. CW CW sampler mean? I don't know. I thought that was the person. I mean, I thought that was the design. Maybe it's a sub sub line. I never saw that before in my life. Uh, <laughs> what did you type that on there? <laughs> creative whims. Oh, creative whims. It's in the oh oh gotcha oh yeah I've heard yeah I think yeah. her floss tube she kind of so says I don't know if she does it to everything or maybe just her ones There's, that's creative yeah <laughs> cross stitch now I'm gonna have to watch out what's is CW on every one of her charts or just the ones that Gary likes <laughs> <laughs> that's my on oh, my only new start that was just start right. all right so let's see so let's do the numbers I had one new one finish in January and I started three things. I don't think that puts you ahead by two on your number of whips. Oh, um, they're not going down. No, they're going went up. My by stash two. is going. No, my I would say my stash is going down too, but I bought more stuff. Uh, so basically, okay. yeah, your uh, your numbers oh, are I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, you like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm winning the race. Upward <laughs> slope. Upward slope. Oh, okay. I'm living longer. That's it. That's that's what it is. <laughs> All right, EJ. Let's see your whips. My, first of all, the next number, we stopped off at, well, hello there, right? Oh, hi. Hello? Do y'all hear me? Yeah, we do. I don't okay. understand what you mean by we stopped there. Yeah, I don't either. With Bringo. Oh, Bringo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember, I'm participating. 
and Bringo basically tells me what's the stitch. Yes. Of January. Okay. Oh, let me show you my Bringo card. Oh, look at oh. that. Wow. So this is what I've done so far. The highlighted ones are the ones that's been called. So you got to okay. catch up. Okay. Yeah. You almost and got, um, I don't know. <laughs> I need night lights, spring ABCs again. I need Christmas ornaments again. And maybe two days of Christmas ornaments, I'll get that one. Mm -hmm. I won't get this one or this one because uh, I don't have a new start. Oh. That's okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so she called on the, I'm not going to tell you the dates. She called, well, hello there on Friday, right? Yeah. I showed it on Friday and I said, well, I was so close to being finished. You so I continued stitch, stitching it on Saturday. So I finished the stitching of, well, hello there. Well, that would be a finish. No, she's no there's the buttons because according to Gary, there are good. buttons that I need to I ordered the buttons and everything right Shelia it you see how the it changes when it's yeah okay mm -hmm. that's okay because as soon as the button comes I have a wait wait are, are you trying to insinuate that I'm holding you up on your finish <laughs> yes you just ordered those Saturday night <laughs> Well, that's like my ladies' night, and that's okay. I ordered the whole year of buttons because you said just give me a couple of months. I'm like, we're not going through this again. I got all twelve; they're on their way. That's but like, you know, Monday's a holiday, which I found out yes, yesterday. Yes, so we don't have holidays in Galron. My, my, my yeah, ladies' yeah, okay. foundations is in the same situation because I have not done the corset straps or the top. Uh, or the tassels, but the corset straps is what was called for. And, and I'm doing that because I didn't want them in the queue snap. Because they're long, long well, stitches? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you kept them together. Yes. Yeah. Versus cutting them apart. Yeah. Yes. So that has been sitting in the almost finished state mm -hmm. for over a year. Yeah. <laughs> so this is um, uh, hands on design. Where's another month? Um, Month is hands on design week. Um, hands on design design. It's February. all February. You get you get next month February. You can do all eleven of them. Yeah, one a day. I'm, I'm gonna not... start. Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna start February in February when it starts. There you go. It's a short month. That's you a plan. Yeah. Next, we have the next thing that was called was Christmas ornament. Christmas ornaments was called oh one time. <clears throat> this um this go round and i add i don't know if you can tell but i added more here yes wow look yes. at all those beads yes wow that's oh, a lot smart. of beads it is so pretty though wow it is so pretty so ej would you say you're an expert in beading now yes i'm <laughs> i'm a master beater what <laughs> she's, she's a master beater that's not right <laughs> okay insert red picture right here <laughs> <laughs> Someone... we're not even three minutes in the video <laughs> we've gone to the 12 year old mode someone who can sew beads on fabric <laughs> well <laughs> master beater yes oh yeah don't play it fast <laughs> all right Hey, well, oh. looks pretty good. <laughs> What'd you say, Gary? It looks pretty good. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. I 
think we're all going to be glad now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> it took me a while. <laughs> But you had to say it. I had, to, I did. I had, to repeat, <laughs> I had to repeat it in my head. <laughs> All right. Next we have. Oh, goodness right. gracious. Next we have. I did one day of. If pumpkins could fly. <clears throat> and um. Oh, those, those are plans. So if pumpkins could fly, another hand on the line. Which is again for next month. Which is again for next she's month. A month, a month early. That's all right. All right. It's all Sounds right. like she's gonna have a lot of finishes next month. Yeah. That's right. But also, it's also a WIBGO number yeah. for me. So I worked on, <clears throat> is that a needle? Oh, right here. Oh. Sorry. I worked on this pumpkin for the hour. Okay. Oh. All I do, all I've been doing is stitching for an hour. That's all the energy that I have. Let's <laughs> well, Bringo. Bringo's yes. yeah. Bringo an hour. That's good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I did 119 stitches on for this pumpkin to finish this. Wow. Pumpkin. Then I did. Then what was called was spring ABCs. Oh yes. Are we down? Are we, you're working at the, on the bottom part. I'm sorry. The, what? You're working on the quilt. I'm working on the quilt. Correct. I did not call it a blanket. I've been corrected a couple of times <laughs> by <laughs> my Sunday group. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. You know who you are. <laughs> and I. <clears throat> Oh, look. Oh. I even have a board. Look at that. Framed. Yes, <laughs> a real board. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I did the frame. Mm -hmm. oh, well. yeah. You see that? Oh. <clears throat> nice. Boom. Yeah. Oh, and I started on the bird. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. Was, yeah. I thought that was a bird. Yeah. Little bird. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're making a um, good progress on that. That should be called again. And hopefully when it gets called again, um, I'll stitch on it for more than an hour mm -hmm. so I can finish it. Cause I, I want, I really want this to be finished. Mm -hmm. So are you finding that Bringo, cause it forces you to do every day something for an hour that it's helping you stay focused on stitching you know because it's only it, it helps me like i say to myself it's only an hour yeah. <laughs> so i can do it and for me to get 100 stitches it's more than an hour mm -hmm. technically so christmas ornaments because of the beading mm -hmm. it's an hour it's an hour because i just it's too much i can't do 100 stitches mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it's gonna take me three days mm -hmm. but uh my actual stitching, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I usually stitch a, a hundred stitches, which is, takes more than an hour for me. Okay. okay. Next we have. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh, this is what she looks. There she is. <laughs> they're they're yeah. facing each other. Doesn't look like they're. At least our screen looks like they're facing each other. <laughs> I'm working on. Oh. Oh. There somewhere, yeah. Right over here a little bit. Okay. Yes. And <clears throat> oh, here it is. And here she goes. Oh, oh wow. wow. I see a direction. There. Yes. Look at that. See direction? Oh, I do, yeah. Hmm. Wait, hold up. Ooh, this is tough. It's wrinkly. That's okay. But, but you're working on it. You don't iron it while you're working on yeah. it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put her. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put her on a scroll. 
Oh, okay. So yeah. she can be ready to stitch whenever you. Because it was it, trying to find a Q snap was giving me a headache. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be your new uh, focus piece. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, that's I mean, a, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. And when we said the order, when I bead now that I'm scroll rod, I I stitch in my Q snap, but then I do the beading on the scroll rod. Oh, because, because the tautness. Because well, one because you can't put the you don't want to snap the beads under um, the Q snap. Yeah, true. And a lot of times you can't mm -hmm, unless mm -hmm. you use like a seventeen by seventeen, mm -hmm. which is unwieldy. unwieldy. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm using my scroll rod. Oh, okay. Okay. The only thing I've ever beaded before this was before this Christmas ornament was Mother Moon, and mm -hmm. she fit in the eleven by eleven, so I had no problem. Exactly. With the oh yeah, yeah. Good point, good point. I had some problems with some others, and I would leave like I would like clamp three of the clamps, but leave one off mm -hmm. because it was mm -hmm. and it was like mm -hmm. it was still unreal. Mm -hmm. And then when I got the, the roller frame, I'm like this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just see it. Yeah, I need to get some more roller frames. I really do. It's time. Yeah, I need to get a whole set. <laughs> no. <laughs> Careful what you ask for. I was getting ready. You know, right. <laughs> I'll only get the sizes you really need. Yeah. But then when you cut down your fabrics, when you cut down your fabric to size, you're going to, it varies. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Okay, that's it for me. Okay, Gary, you're up. Oh, whip. So I worked on World Holiday from Mirabilia. And this is where she's at this week. What? Oh, look. Look at that. Let's move her in yeah. some. So I'll show you what she looked like. Yes, please. We, show me what she looks like, period. Do you have a picture? I just popped it in. Oh. <laughs> um this Help is, me now. The only only the two of us remain clueless <laughs> over there. And, and this is what she looked like last week what? after a couple of hours stitching on Zoom. So this is what Sunday. And now this is Friday. Today is Saturday. Saturday? Oh, well, oh yeah, but I, I, I haven't stitched on it yet. Yeah. Yikes. Nice. Is, man, that looks good. That's her, that's her arm, her shoulder and her arm. She's got a gloved arm. I'll, I'll pull out the picture for you guys because you, you want to see what she looks like. You have no clue. <laughs> remember i know she's sitting down right yeah she's sitting down and she's holding a candle so where are you now you're doing her hair now right um nope i'm oh that's her shoulder see right here oh, I see. she goes perfectly with the pram sir because look at the ribbon they have the same color ribbon yeah, there's a lot of reds. Yeah. There's like seven reds in her. Oh, nice. She's one of the, like a 2004 Mirabilia when she used a lot of colors versus now where she's doing a lot of color blocking. Mm, mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's like, look at all those shades to mm -hmm. get that, that rolls and stuff, the flows. So that's all I worked on this week, just two things. Oh, okay. It was a pretty good focused week. I mean, she's... Um, so I'll stitch on her for some more today. And now let's do this one first because she's pretty good size. <clears throat> oh, we had a board. Yeah. This oh, wow. uh, Janet <clears throat> Irving uh, sampler by Jean Farish Needleworks. Sorry. Oh. Here oh. is. <clears throat> Here is what it will look like here. Okay, it's not that big. Mm -mm. <laughs> big girl. <laughs> well, that big smaller. Does she get smaller? Hey. <laughs> I, yeah, no. She is, what is she? Oh, she you haven't even got to the nice big house yet. 238 by 270. Wait, how many pages is that? 23 pages? It's 23 pages. She's on letter C, Gary. She's in letter C, so. Uh... I have a page finished. No, no, no. She's got. Oh, but she's got almost H starting down here. So look up there. 
She'll know, she'll know her alphabet definitely when she's done here. I mean, there's definitely like five times already. And I think there's another seven more alphabets on this thing. Uh, there's a bunch. Well, actually, what's interesting is that the final two rows are actually initials where she had stitched in the initials of family members. Oh, so it's going to be EJ and GH. EJ. And RH. There you go. Hey. Yeah. So I'm going to put in family members and EJ, GH, RH, and, you know, other people that, you know, are kind of in my stitchy circle. So you mean there's speak. other people? <laughs> Carrie's a pain. <laughs> But I have done the, um, it calls for four-sided stitch letters. So I've done uh, oh. four-sided stitch letters. Um, and, and like I said, this is a, this represents a page finish, like up in here. Some of it does carry over because I had thread. So I kept going okay. until I finished the length of thread. Um, yeah. So I'm very pleased with this. And you can tell she's a big girl because of this. Oh, I want to see the four side stitch. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Big one. Well, let's see. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Yes. Once you get into a rhythm with it, it moves pretty nicely. Yeah, because you well, you just need to follow a path. So you're a not path. so you're not going backwards and yes. forwards a lot. You want to well, go uh, and the back if, if you're if you're the back should be a cross stitch. So if you look behind, you've got cross stitches. It okay. doesn't make a square on the back, it's a cross stitch. Oh, so there's an actual path to follow. Path to yeah. follow, yeah. The, and it goes so much faster if you're just doing a row. When you're doing letters, it does get a little bit more challenging because you're, you've got open spaces. In you've there. got open spaces, you've got diagonals. And so it, it yeah. does, it's not quite as, for me anyway, it was it's my back on my letters aren't as, as neat as the, um, so this is, I don't think, you, I don't know if you can see it. This right here, is that the four-sided stitch? No, it's a row. Yeah, it's a row of four-sided stitch. And then right here and the, the back is um, like cross stitches. And then the letters kind of look weird. I mean, because you're kind of back stepping. Yeah, you're going over it a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, I was actually a little leery about the letters in the um, four-sided stitch. <clears throat> But it was fun and I enjoyed yeah. it. I mean, they do look a little chunky compared to the other ones, but they, they gives it a nice look. It does. It really does. Yes. So I have to sit down and she says to use any of the letters uh, on the piece and mm -hmm. chart out initials okay. that you want to use. So before I stitch on it again, I will take time to sit down and chart out which the ones, initials. Which, which, uh, font you like best yes and then chart out the initials so that i have something to actually work from mm -hmm. i'm not trying to make it up as i go along yeah. we're not no mm -hmm. oh your hands are cold yes gary i'm cold <laughs> <laughs> it's, hey, like, no, it's just like an ice box yes <laughs> my hands are hot yes they are it's chilly and gary hold hands my doctor used to say cold hands warm heart so, yeah, there so what does the hot hands mean? <laughs> I'm stitching that on 30 count legacy linen in Mariner's map using Cosmo threads. It was a kit. It was okay. a class. class kit. It was a class kit. Um, the cross stitch cupboard in February 2019, I think. Um, yeah. Bearish. Okay. And uh, so I've been enjoying very very much enjoying it <clears throat> so after i finished my whip parade i went back to try to put things away again and i realized that i had overlooked a whip and it's oh. because it sits in a cubicle on top of my stack of project bags that aren't being used right now so it's just and i missed it because it's just sitting there and the reason is because i have a box of flower thread and the box sits inside the project bag. So it's too big to sit with yeah. anything but else. If any of you've watched the videos in the last year, you notice 
where's that piece at? Where's that banner that Sheila has been stitching? On yes. Every month? <laughs> well, and, and also uh, it's class um, with, um, hosted by Sassy Jack's mm -hmm. Stitchery. And um, Kimberly is in the process of prepping a new store site. So now, but EJ showed hers, right? With the squirrels in the yellow. Yes. Yeah. And I completely overlooked mine. So this is the book that the class is based on. It's by Jeanette Douglas and it's called um learning right. stitches sampler oh, okay and it's really it's an excellent book i uh decided to move ahead because i really did enjoy uh working on it and and so this is my progress uh sassy jacks did an opening piece of it okay and so these are the rows of stitches uh that are the same stitches that are in the sampler Oh, let me try. Yeah, let me try. There we go. The rows of stitches that we've completed so far. So is it one every month? Ostensibly it was, yes. Okay. So she got up to band nine. I, nine. Just September. Yeah, and um, so I went Are ahead. Those beads? Are yeah. those beads? Beads, yes. These, these stitches at, included um opportunities for beads so this so one what are you gonna do when you have to roll it up uh this one i haven't been hassling with it well i haven't gotten to what you need yeah I'm, so, so would mm -hmm. you put just like a regular piece of cotton fabric there or would you put like a felt i have a i have felt okay so i'll probably just put a little strip of felt like right because it wouldn't get stuck in the felt the beads no mm -mm. okay mm -mm. I just know if I can mess something up, it would happen. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so this is the stitch that I finished. Uh, the blue one. The blue, the blue one, pretty. right here. And you're gonna put yeah. beads in the middle. So there are beads in the middle. Oh, oh there they are. Ooh. Yeah, I wanted I wanted so something. Can, yeah, a little yeah. sparkly there. Yeah, yeah, just a little. Camera rarely picks up the sparkly. Yeah, yeah, they're that was really nice. A yeah. Bit. yeah. Yeah, so um, I made a mistake on the back. I do this periodically. I started my thread in one spot, but I was actually stitching in another spot. So I, <laughs> this big long. Well, you might want to tack that down so it doesn't get caught on. I thing. might, yeah. Go back through and just. just well, when I finish it, I'm okay. going to put some sticky pellon on the back, iron on pellon mm -hmm. uh, behind it before I fully finish it. Okay. So it'll it'll be. It'll be secured. Anchored, yes, yeah, secured okay. in there. So that's learning stitches, uh, Jeanette Douglas. And I'm stitching this on four inch banding. It's dark natural with blue banding. And I'm using, it's, um, this card is so wrong. Uh, this is a 27 count banding. I'm, and as I mentioned before, I'm using flower thread, uh, single strand flower thread. Yeah. It seems like a lot of banding comes in 27 count. Must be like yeah. a standard or something. Yeah, or... I think so. Must be. Yeah. So this was a, a lot of, has been a lot of fun. I'm going to continue on next month. I'll do the next row. Mm -hmm. This one is called uh, Florentine Bargello. This was okay. block 10. Florentine. You know, I think what I'm going to do with mine, because the same thing is backstitch the name of the stitches underneath it oh that would be nice oh yeah. i don't know if you have space no i haven't been leaving leaving but i mean yeah, yeah i've only left four threads between well, I can do more yeah, yeah but you can if you have enough if you have length yeah i yeah. think i do yeah yeah, yeah make sure you have enough length and yeah. then because it's 27 count even by doing the back stitches over one might be too tiny yeah. oh the letter backstitch over one too well, small. you could see it. There's 15 sets of. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That one. is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I like the automated colors. Mm -hmm. Um, there's 15 stitches mm -hmm. things. Different stitches. Yes. Yeah. So I wanted to bring that in, and this was on a much smaller uh, set of end bars, and mm -hmm. put in a longer uh in bars to make it a oh, little bit that's more a 10 so you had it on something smaller yeah i had it on a eight or a six oh, that's it was tiny very day. small yeah okay someone had a lot of stitching <laughs>
I well, I was like, I feel like we haven't done it. What, what do we do, EJ? We're like, I don't, I don't know. We twiddle our thumbs. Yeah. I do my daily rotation. Y'all tease me about it, but it's productive. That's all I can say. Sugar Skull by Imaginating. Mm. which uh, is on a um, piece of 32 count glow in the dark fabric. I'm using the call for DMC because- oh, it looks like these flowers are 3D, doesn't it, EJ? Yeah. They look like they're just jumping right out, like they're buttons or they something. Are, they do, yeah, yeah. they do. Um, and because I'm using glow in the dark fabric, I am not stitching the background uh, white. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the skull so i got a question for you so right now you have it on a black board yes. when you get it framed would you have it framed with a colored board behind it to emphasize the glow in the dark feature or oh that's an idea i might because mm -hmm. the fabric is kind of it's very uh, wispy poor. yes 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 so i did the earrings oh that's what I, earrings? I, think Can, I, I was just about to say can i see the picture again I thought they were just flowers. Oh, they're sunflowers. You, yeah. Yeah. I don't think there is. There's a lot of stitching left in this. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Back stitching galore. You have to back stitch the flower, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of back stitching too. It's just imaginating. There's yeah. yeah. I, I'm enjoying it. It's yeah. a lot of fun. There was a period of time when I kind of fell out of, you know, love with it, but I'm back. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. For fun um, stitch. Yeah, so it's 32 count. So it's two threads of floss over two strands of floss over two fabric threads. Yeah, though it's weird. The colors look very pastel until yeah. you're stitching on them. Yes. So that's what I was thinking. Colors up a little bit. Make a little note here. What's your note? My note is when I was prepping the description, usually I try to put in what I've stitched on this week ahead of time and I didn't put in imaginating. Um, uh, Jeanette Douglas, Letters from Mom, which is um, being transformed into- uh, Sayings from Shelia. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, and I've been working on January for a long time. <laughs> And I'm coming close to the end this week. Hold on, my pointer is here somewhere. It's right over there, next to your drink. Oh. Out of reach. Out of reach and out of sight. I was only had this big motif here, this snowflake to do. Honest to goodness, this snowflake went to war with me. I must oh, have- Snowflakes are no joke. I'm, so it didn't, I didn't get as much accomplished, technically speaking, uh, this time around because me and that snowflake had to, you know, we had to have, we had to have a come into Jesus meeting. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a toughie. So I. Um, so there's a lot of fancy stitches in this thing, right? Is it all uh, fancy stitches? Just satin stitch. Well, it's... well the satin. Okay, so here is, I'm actually using Algerian eyelet. I don't, mm -hmm. There's Algerian eyelet. The little white ones? Yeah, the little white ones. Okay. Now that was not supposed to be an eyelet. It was supposed to be a Smyrna cross. But you like eyelets. I, I prefer eyelets, number one, but the way she charted the Smyrna cross is that the it's it's like so you have the x yeah, and then you have the, the vertical plus. and the horizontal um the x was over one thread mm -hmm. and or two threads and the vertical and heart there's it was a difference in the number of threads it wasn't even yeah oh. and i just had i could not make it work i just i could not oh it's like she did the the the, the upper line longer and it made it like a, a squish a short, a short yeah, I've um, done those weird they're not square they're like rectangle short. a rectangle smarter. yeah, yeah. Okay. and i didn't i i really did not enjoy them and yeah. i didn't was not liking the way they were looking I, I just i love the border the, the 
cottage garden threads the yes. border here or it's all the silk the, yes. the satin stitch yes satin stitch that's yeah. really pretty there is a name to that stitch i don't know what it is but basically it's a satin stitch yeah yeah uh yes and each month has a cottage garden thread uh and the yes. charts came with the small amount of cottage cottage garden Ooh, thread i have those yeah yeah so, so you finish so Instead of the um, Smyrna crosses, you just did Algerian eyelids. Oh, that's this one. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm using all the call for. I'm oh, sorry. Wait, yes. There, there, is this this card in between the board that you want to look at? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's not in the back. It's in between. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Here's a. Do try. This is a she case. tries to make it difficult for me on purpose. I know it. No, no, no. Where's I, the card? What'd you do with the card? Well, every time I show that, I don't show it on a board. I just fold the fabric because there's so much fabric. It really is, but it, it does fall. That's a a nice to, gray. You had to flop over. It's 36 count flagstone. So I'm using one thread, uh, one floss thread over two fabric threads, and I'm using all the call for threads. Flagstone. Who's that by? I don't know. Oh, because I it's a nice one. It's a very pretty color. It's a soft gray. Yeah, it's a very, very it's a pleasure to seen that before. to stitch on. So I, I, that one has a long way to go. Yeah. I worked luckily on, we're in January, so February you could start February's. Well, I have to I have to finish the oh. remaining eyelets down at the bottom here. I've got two oh. rows to repeat this down mm. here oh okay and by the time so I instead of doing the the smyrna crosses the way she wants you to do it you're changing it to algerian algerian eyelids yes yes gotcha. yes and um actually i love the way it looks yeah, it looks nice I, I really do like yeah. the way it looks yeah yeah and of course this is the one where i'm changing some of the uh scripted sayings into sayings that are um the, you know from shelia yeah that's yeah. yeah that's nice um lindy stitches beach dance blue-footed boobies so i worked on my boobies this this week this was a tuesday st i love working on my boobies they're actually a lot of fun <laughs> well you do what you do you <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so I, I am I the only one that's not a twelve-year-old here? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. We got a master beater and a, and a, and a booby stitcher. Booby player. Booby stitcher. I got this was a Tuesday stitch, so I got a lot done. I think the last time I may have started working on this one's head, but I finished um, both. I think I had the two beaks in. Yeah. Um, I worked on both of these heads and then started the flowers. I'm going to take this on retreat, so I wanted to, and the body is a lot. A so lot of yeah it's 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 a lot a lot of color so that's what made me decide yeah. to take this on retreat. so how's the body compared to your fabric is it gonna, it's going to show up it's, it's a lighter it's lighter it's lighter but it's it'll be show. fine yeah are you going to back stitch it maybe i don't right. think i'll need to okay because you've got a little bit of wing in the middle yeah. there and there's a bunch of wing on the side and just the little bottom i don't think i'll need to okay yeah i think it's and last but not least, I worked Leela Studio Nevermore. Mm, nice. Yes. And this is the one where I had to substitute for Lagoon, but I looked up the wrong Lagoon, not realizing that there were that multiple, multiple dyers, dyers uses Lagoon. of Lagoon. <laughs> so my Lagoon is it's very tropical it's very, very tropical. florida yes yes look right girl alan me. poe went to went to miami that's right <laughs> <laughs> it looked right to me see now i, I thought about getting you. this frame for every day is it an everyday piece or a halloween piece i think it's halloween because of the graveyard and the big black raven there 
Halloween piece. To I me. understand. No, I think it's <laughs> Halloween. Okay. Uh, and I've worked on the green sections, the green motifs yeah. uh, this time. I think I only had one done. So. Yeah, I mean it's it looks a bit a little bright right now, but I mean there's enough of that green that goes throughout the piece to yes. balance it very nice. I think so. I think it's going to look nice. Yeah, I think so. This is on um, Sprite. Picture this plus Sprite, 36 count. So again, it's one thread over two fabric threads. And there's quite, besides the Lagoon, uh, there are a couple of other substitutions, but I think I got what I was substituting for. So I think I'm gonna go back to using the original slug bug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, it's- So um, where else is the Lagoon? Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. There's a there's a the whole bottom freeze down here. Below. Oh, gotcha. And then there's mm -hmm. this, this piece right here. Side okay. Piece. And then there's some of the little pieces, some in here. I think some there's a, one or two mm -hmm. motifs that's got that on. Mm -hmm. So it's fairly balanced. It's gonna look mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so those were my whips Ooh. for the week. Wow, that yes. was pretty good. Yeah, I did. Um, I. I did also work on Neige and Montagne by Madame Lafie. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the window, right? Yes. But <laughs> I did not, I finished up my learning stitches band yesterday. Then I pulled out Neige and Montagne. And so I didn't get a lot done. It wasn't okay. worth bringing it in to show. But I have a couple, do I have free days? Yes, I have two free days at the end of the month. So I think I'm going to bring it back out then. Okay. And do some more work. So. Go. It won't feel neglected. Yeah, that's good. Don't want to yes. neglect the stitching. No, 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 no. All righty. So those were our whips for the week. Does anybody have any haul or stitchy kindness? I do not. I've got haul. Okay. I got stitchy kindness. Go ahead, Gary. Oh, let me show Ronnie's haul first. Okay. While EJ is looking for her kindness. I got my kindness. Oh. <laughs> so so ronnie got this uh it's called cozy winter samplers it's from rami rami's creations look at that. it it looks like ginger ginger stitching yeah and the, i think that's and, so cute and the reason this is so cute is because ginger will only let ronnie stitch for an hour and then she's had enough of it so that's <laughs> his, her his timer so i, I think when that came beautiful. out i'm like yeah you gotta stitch that yes yeah. absolutely beautiful and it's called so for the, some of the rami threads but it's only like three of them, and I think he can pull like gentle arts mm -hmm. or weeks dye works like Turkish mm -hmm. red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gives a nice print. Color. Yeah, very nice. So that's that one, and then I got a couple things. I got Q and R from my alphabet. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. So I'm waiting for all them to come out, and then when in market when Erica Michaels releases her format for mm -hmm. the book that Shelia mm -hmm. did, they. Mm -hmm. I want to um, figure See if out. You can... I want Shelly to help me figure out how to do them as a book. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be a cool as as a book because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're all the same size. Okay. And they all use Rami's thread, so I have all her threads oh, for the whole nice. series. Oh, okay. So and we're we're at R already, so we're almost there. Yo, that would be yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Now the only uh, so in the sampler book, she actually combined X, Y, and Z. I don't know how she's going to do it. Exactly. So you may have the, extra you may pages have to work out or... something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work out something. We'll figure something out. And then you know, we'll have a green fabric for a cover page. <laughs> of course. Boy, <laughs> we're drinking all over the place today. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> all right. And then I got this one. I thought this was kind of cute. That is the collectors 2022. And I got all the threads and uh, the fabric and the buttons. Nice. Because I was actually able to kit this up for everyone in the shop. Oh, okay. So I had everything. So they're all kitted up in the shop. Oh, okay. So you, and so that normally doesn't happen because she's using three brands. She's using Weeks, Classic Color Works, and Gentle Arts. Oh, okay. I was like, I said, let me see if I have all the colors. And yeah. I got them. So oh, good. Them All right. So, so you can actually sell that as a kit. Yeah. Complete oh, kit. Nice, nice. I mean, she calls it a kit, but now it's completed. Yeah. Because she, it's got buttons. It's got buttons and she added fabric. Okay. Oh, okay. So you added the threads. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. And then uh, I got my birthday. I got my Christmas presents 
that I bought for my mom. She sent me money and it took two months for me to get it. <laughs> not from my mom, but from <laughs> a place that shall not be named. Just an Etsy shop then. No, well, it's it's the, the country that shall not be named. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, oh, no, gosh. Who is it? Who is it? I'm thinking, um, what are their names now? They keep changing. Russia. I was trying to think of the U.S. I was thinking, I was thinking it U.S. Was it SR? Was it, was USSR? Are you thinking about that? Yeah, I was, that's what I was thinking about. So this There's is, no way. Mine came really quick. I don't know. When did you order yours? On, on the 20th of November. You all were really? very close in the time that you ordered. I, I remember we, we talked Everybody about got theirs earlier. Yeah. Wow. I got mine this week. I have like Thursday. <laughs> okay. Let me see it. Is it? It's well worth it, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. it is. And I got and I got the the flosses. Are they beautiful? Look at that, yeah, gorgeous. Based, but they're gorgeous. Look at that. I'm, I should order another one. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then um, I got the floss beautiful. fabric and pattern. Fabric? No. Well, they said it was a kit, but there was no box and there was no needle minder. So he was disappointed. He didn't get the box and he I'm didn't. So sorry. EJ got something more than I did. But that's I okay. That's... Did you order the box or did you order separate components to it? And they put it together. I ordered the kit. Oh. But it's okay. I got it. I was afraid I wasn't going to get it. Yeah, because I had such I did they I had such a good um experience with them. Yeah. Yeah. But so I th I'm going to start this on my birthday because it's so pretty. Yeah. I I'm, I'm loving the colors. The, the colors are I mean, beautiful. they're over dyed DMCs. Look yes. at that. It's gorgeous. gorgeous. Yes. There's a there's um a couple of other ones that I'm I have my eyes on, and I just found <laughs> I just found. Christmas money in this envelope. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I mean, I don't. Okay, I don't carry all four, so don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got. Take a drink, EJ. I got swamp thing. Swamp thing. Swamp thing. You make my heart sing. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's the song, but I don't know if those are the right words. That's what I used to sing. Wild thing. Uh, well, wild thing. Oh, okay, that's what I you thought. You make well, my heart sing. So. But I like it for swamp thing. Yeah, I was gonna say swamp okay. thing. So yeah, this was my okay. final haul. Isn't it cool? I love this. This is thirty two. Swamp thing by Serafin Fabrics. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. pretty. It matches your shirt. I think I it'd be good for that that pattern that Sheila and I were supposed to be stitching together. She started before me that raise the roof. Jolly jingle, Joy. which I'm supposed to be stitching on today. Jolly Joy jingle. Yes. So there's Look, a, you're a you you got fabric. You found like three good fabrics for that piece. So Ready, it's yeah. not on Shuli anymore. It's on you. What's the name of this? Swamp. Swamp. Oh. <laughs> Sing the song. So there, there's two patterns by Racer Roof. There's the Jolly Jingle. jingle jo Jolly. Jolly Joy Jingle. And there's another, there's a Halloween one. Okay. I don't know if that'll go on green. I think that'll probably go on orange. Okay. All but, right. So that's all my haul. All righty. And my sticky yeah, kindness, kindness is from Deb. Deb R. Yeah. Stitching card. Stitching card. All oh, right. Look at this cute. And then this beautiful needle minder. Oh, oh how pretty. That. Oh, that's very pretty. I love the eyes. Yes. Or the eyes. And it's a shop. Stitching Sisters, Crafts and Notions. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, cool. Gorgeous. Wishing you a happy Kwanzaa and a blessed new year. Yes. Gorgeous. I left at home. I forgot. It's oh. sitting on the dining room table, too. As you know. Gorgeous. Where everything goes and sort of <laughs> finds a happy home. <laughs> I've actually been trying to clean it up. Because it was like, what is all this stuff? Yeah. I figured uh, the cats would get up and just swing, 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 swing. Yeah. Okay, They're announcements. Happy. I have an announcement. Okay. Okay. Oh, you don't have an announcement? Um, no bag sale this month. No bag sale this month. Um, the invoices for bag of the month will go out on the 28th of January. 
Um, you have until the second of the next month, the, the February to pay. And if by noon, by the second, you don't pay, you're out of the club, your spot sold. It's bada boom, bada beam. You had five days, you had four days. Same thing there, every month. Every so month, there's a big waiting new. list. And, you know, just let us know. But before the 15th, if you want to drop, don't wait till the invoice goes out. That's, you know, just be respectful. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. We haven't killed anybody for asking to leave the club. Yeah. I mean, that's bad business. <laughs> All righty. Um, I have an announcement. I was watching Jean Farish um, um, floss tube mm -hmm. uh, last week, and I talked to Karen at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. Uh, so Jean Farish is going to be at the Cross Stitch Cupboard on February the twelfth. Oh, so, and it's a short class. It's not a full day class. It's, it's short. If you are interested, please contact the Cross Stitch Cupboard. Uh, and it will be a very small class because it's going to be right in the store. So it'll be a very small class. Um, right, uh, contact the Cross Stitch Cupboard. Uh, and the telephone number is in our description box below. Mm -hmm. So just want to make sure that's February 12th. Do you know what piece are they going to work on? I, she did say. Uh, she is bringing the original sampler for Jane Hattersley, one of her, her nice mm -hmm. samplers. Um, I don't know what the topic is. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All okay. right. So anything else? Plans. EJ, what are your, what is, so you need to hear what Bringo is going to. They're, they're controlling your day until the 25th, right? Correct, but I'm I'm I am two day three days behind, so I'll tell you what I'm what I'll be stitching on. Okay. For um one day, it will be for one of those days. Mm -hmm. What are you stitching tonight? I'm working on Bella portrait. I'm stitching on all three of them tonight. Oh, okay. hours. So all right, at least 100 stitches for those three. Do you guys hear the vacuum? No. So I'm stitching on Bella, Bella Butterfly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Um, and you saw her last week. Here she is again this week. That's it. Oh, wow. Um, so that's my starting point. Hey, you got the square done. That's that's um. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not stitching. I'm not stitching the uh, background. The background. Mm -hmm. your and, then, and then for two hundred stitches, we have. Okay. Oh, so you can do you can do the bat wings on the pumpkin. Yes, I can do the bat. I can finish that up. I can continue with the words. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you doing the uh, back stitching as you go? Is no, I can though, but I wasn't planning on it. Oh, okay. I was going to do regular X's. So this is my starting point. All right. I, I did it somewhat sectionally, uh, mm -hmm. but the advantage of doing it at the same time is that in this piece, uh, the back stitching repeats. Yeah. And so once you've done one set of bat wings and you move to your next of uh, putting the wings on the pumpkins, it, it becomes the same easier type, yeah. to to do and a lot faster. So yeah. there's a benefit to waiting and doing the back stitching, particularly on end. this piece. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Later or the same time? Later. Or or when you have finished all the pumpkins, so that you could do all the back stitching on the back stitching at once. Okay, gotcha. Because I know there's some vines in between the row of pumpkins. There are vines going through, so uh, they're yeah. they're not difficult. And again, okay. I I think there's some similarity in them as well yeah. in the bottom section. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the vines are kind of similar. There's one bat that does not have back stitching, but I just did it because 
like Shirley said, it's the same back stitching. So I just copied. I did that. too. I, I did too. Because it, it yeah. looked odd. It's like, it, oh. it's, yeah, it looked naked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he needed some back stitching. He did. He did. So I'm thinking of getting mine framed with the words mm -hmm. and then you know, a matte cut and had a little Frankenstein mm -hmm. as an arch on the top. So mm -hmm. it's like a Frankenstein or a pumpkin? There's a little Frankenstein on the top. So it's the second piece you haven't stitched yet. <laughs> gotcha. The one I did first. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Those are my plan. And then waiting for Whipco. And I know they called something on the 14th, which I think they called something for today and for yesterday and today. So I'm actually five days behind. Wait, um, why is Whipco? Whipco is. Not Whipco, Bringo. Okay, are you having me confused there for a second? She said Whipco. Whipco. I said Whipco. Yeah. I meant Bringo. So. Okay, yeah, because Whipco numbers don't come. Seven. Yes. Even I know that. <laughs> How is your Whipco board? I don't know. Y'all are keeping it. <laughs> it's your Whipco board. <laughs> you did an amazing job. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, Gary, what are you working on this week? Um. Well, I'm going to gonna, see your plan over there. Yeah, I got plans all over the place. So today I'm going to continue stitching on her for a little bit. Okay. I want to get some of this up here. And there's, I need three skeins, three cards of Whisper for her. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. So she's, um, she's a very- She's going to be fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy girl. So her today and then um, on my, my calendar. Yes. Which We're going to get bigger? It feels like it. It feels like it. So what is what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 16th. Wait, put it up. I'm sorry, put it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So, I put this up. Yeah, so actually all next week I'll be stitching on Raven Queen. Oh, okay. Oh, you put it down there like that for yeah. all next week? Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, all next week. Raven Queen. Yeah, because World Holiday was all this week. So oh, okay. Raven. So starting mm -hmm. Sunday, she's gonna be all next week and i'll take her with me to the retreat okay so i may stitch on her but i'm gonna take a couple of back i was gonna say yeah take something else because by that time i would be screaming for something different to work really? on yeah oh no my fingers would even start oh, to no. twitch so i'm still not sure if i'm going to do the skin one over one or normal two over two I think her skin should be one over one. I like Mirabilia skin that's stitched one over one. Well, it all depends on how much skin she has. Yeah. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just expressing. Well, let's see. Let's see your Pisces with one over one skin. Oh, I'm going to do one over one She's skin. She's got a on lot her. of skin. She does, but really? you're going to do one over one skin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, this is even weave, so it's really easy to do the one yes. over one skin versus yeah. on linen yeah. for me. And so that's. And then um, since next weekend, since I'm taking yeah. this stuff with me Thursday, so we're leaving Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to also take, I'm taking Raven Queen with me, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take my five friends with me. Oh, okay. So here's the five friends. Because I feel like if I get up to that black skirt, yeah, that thing's, yeah, that's, if that's the heel, that skirt's going to be huge. That skirt's going to be like humongous. So I yeah. could probably, Get that done without any counting yeah yeah <laughs> so i got her which would be a lot of black stitching mm -hmm. and then well wow i'm seeing a trend here okay and then this one's got a lot of black stitching too <laughs> so i might basically gonna just I might, take black <laughs> i only need one skate of floss <laughs> I'm, I'm packing light <laughs> one skate of floss. so uh evan nora she's this is what she looks like <laughs> so i'll fill in her hat look at okay. that i show each of the photo and she doesn't even look up you guys make all this deal out. where's I'm the photo where's the staring, photo i am staring <laughs> at the photo but i knew how she looked like she's on pickle on picture this plus isn't she no she's on spicy mustard <laughs> um, that's not spicy mustard that's what they called it that's what i said too but it's spicy mustard green <laughs> I love it's it. It's also their day. It's also their day. Also their day. <laughs> also their day. I don't know, but I love it. And so that's my plans. I might grab something else and take with me. So I'm not stitching only on black because I can't. That might be a problem. That might, yeah, that, that so, might be more of an issue. Than anyway, I'm going to a store, so I might pick oh, up something. Oh, that's true. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay. Oh, it's a store. Oh, it is a store. Big city. Yeah. Yes. 
I am speaking of that. So last week I showed my hall was the border series one, two, and three by Kesslins. Kesslins. Yes. I took some time this past week and pulled out all of my silks for you and put together, Ooh. and there's a lot of different colors in each one. Yeah. A lot. So I pulled together the uh, and um, the colors of the month, and then uh, I was in two clubs, color of the month and silk of the month. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, and I looked at them and pulled together, put all the um, kind of the red tones together, the blue tones. And uh, so I have put together color tones which consist of many more colors than are called for, but at least I will have options. Yeah, options. Choose. That's good. You always want options. Exactly. So I have those bunches <laughs> of, of silk already assigned to a okay, chart. So, so, you, so let's say you have a spreadsheet with, no. with those colors and the symbols, or no. did you write it down? No, I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> I just took the bunches of silk. I sat... I looked at the chart to see what the four pieces were and look what was the overall color tone that mm -hmm. seemed to come from that okay. chart. And I just assigned this bunch will go with this we'll chart. Pat, chart A and this is chart bunch B. Will go, and this one for one, chart two, and three. C. Yes. Okay. And that's as far as I've gotten. I haven't done any uh, real selection, okay. but I uh, my extensive fabric collection is um 32 count and 36 count i have very little 40 count and what 40 count i had just was not working oh so you're going to do all. it on 40 you want to i'm going to do it well it's it's called for 40 count that's a sneezing. well i want them to i don't want them to be too big what's the difference between 36 count and 40 count on size wise half inch is it really i don't know i mean you could we could pop it in calculator and see it's finish size okay my head is spinning it's like, now well it's like 217 by 217 yeah it was it's yeah it's pretty regular it's a square square yeah 217 go back sorry people hey this is what you want to know that's what that's i want what to know. i want to know so so seven it's going to be 12 Give me a Oh, but the, that's two. Okay, so the that's, finish. I'm writing it down. Finish size is 12 inches on 36 count. Okay. Well, 36 is 12 inches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then 40, 40 count. is 10 inches. Oh, different. Two inches. Well, 11. So it's actually, 11. It's it's actually 11. one inch smaller. Yeah. So it's a half inch on each side, essentially. So. I mean, okay, yeah, so 36. 36 count again, because yeah. I have quite a bit of 36 yeah. count. It's a big difference between, you know, really it is some reason it's a big difference between 32 and 36. Yes. But, but with the 40 and 36 is almost the same. And if you got a picture of this plus, it's probably even smaller because it's. It's more it's like a 38. Be, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'll go take a look at that again. You can do like a gray or. A light, uh, like a type of blue. Well, there'll definitely be, yes, yeah, sampler shades. Shades. Well, that's all I have. R &R. I, I do oh, Lakeside R and R. Of course, will be my first choices because mm -hmm. those are always my first choices. Okay. Um, because the silks have so much variegation, it has to be pretty much a solid. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was really. There's, there's a lot solid. of variegation across those silks. Because yeah, so. you want to see the silks. And I do have some solid silks in those bunches as well. Right, but with all those colors, even if you did solids, you'd still want a simple A fabric. very simple background, yes. Okay, so that was a digression. See, that, that was, see, that was part of planning. Yes. We planned on the, on the slide. Yeah, we did, we did, okay. <laughs> get, get your cross-stitch calculator. Yeah, I have one. We actually have one on, on the Garron site. Oh, you under, do? Under resources. Yeah, you put click, in a click, calculator? Click on resources. Oh, how nice, okay. Well, what I'm stitching on this week, um, Jolly Joy Jingle today, and this is a big football weekend. Uh, oh, this is oh. playoff weekend, wild card weekend. I'm sorry, wild card weekend. Oh, so we should see all kinds of finishes. Yeah. Um, 
So today, Jolly Joy Jingle, I had identified traveling stitcher for today, but I think I'm going to take that next weekend on, okay. on retreat. So uh, I'm not how sure. Many, how many are you taking to retreat with you? I'm going to take three. Three. Yeah, we arrive on Thursday. We're Friday, yeah. Saturday, full day. We leave on Sunday. And I haven't decided what time I'm going to leave on Sunday. I'm thinking I'm taking this one with me. It's more you black. Know? Oh, it's got different shades. It's got it's... green. <laughs> it's it's got a lot of black. It's going to give them an excuse to go shopping. You know that, right? Like, I couldn't well, take it more black. Well, that was where that whole conversation started because I, you know, I do want to go to the shop and I always like to shop at shops. Oh, I, I was going to buy, I look for the shop. 40, yeah, I was going to look for 40 count fabric for that, but now you may have talked me out. I'll see what I have. Huh. You can still look at 40 count. Yeah. yeah. I always look at fabric. I mean, that's true. Come yeah. on. You never have enough fabric. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Every well, project should, every project should have three options of fabric. <laughs> Yeah, I have no reason to buy 30 to count. Let's put it that way. So anyway, um, African Lady with Vaz, which is, of course, one of, I really love. I might do switch that. Okay. Um, Quaker Spring, uh, which is uh, Primitive Hair. I'm working on the stitcher. Oh, okay. Uh, wash Day, which which is um, my big with the ladies over the wash pots. Yeah. And then taking on retreat, I had identified some tea towels, some old tea towels I found, like from 1999. Um, Last those millennium. are the chart Stony Creek, yes. Uh, but I'm still weighing those. I might wait and take those on different kinds of trips, like when I'm in on airplanes or something. Yeah. Uh, definitely taking the cats. And you're taking the button. Uh, I'm thinking about taking the button box because I'm working on the banding that goes on the side. Okay. And that could be... And you're taking the boobies, aren't you? And boobies. I'm going to take the boobies. go with you everywhere you go. The, the towels, I'm going to take my <laughs> They boobies. should go with you everywhere they you go. They should right? go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Works in progress. So I'm going to take out the towels and put in beach dance. And then I've got button box. Oh, you can't, this is, you can't erase this stuff. I thought you was using. Yes, this is erasable. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will erase. I just was sitting. I didn't want it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So anyway, my plans are a little bit in flux, but they're getting a lot more solidified. Okay. So my plan is tonight after the video, I'm going to have to look for something that's not black stitch. Yes, yes. exactly. Then yes, like, correct. Not too complex. Complex. What's complex? Not too complex. Not yeah, not a lot of counting. Mm. Yes. All righty. Well, I think we've covered an awful lot of territory today. Okay. We uh, certainly gave everybody the weather report report from Chile, Florida, Chile to and, us. And we and because we didn't see EJ's temperature chart, so we're still waiting for yeah. the four, first 15 days of the year. See what color they are. Is there a lot of greens? <laughs> she says, I put that bad boy together. I'll wait until I pull it out. <laughs> It'll be like hey, 2025. 20, 2025. 20, she's stitch, stitching on the 2020. I can tube. tell you. So 50s medium navy. Oh, look at that. And the high today is supposed to be what, 73? Three. Hold on, let, me, let me tell you the highs. Oh, we're all in the purples. These are yeah. Your these colors. are all purples. These are all really because it's colder. It's seventy one degrees. Today. All right. See, this is see my my favorite temperatures are 79, 78, 79, and eighty, and that's where all the green colors are. <laughs> <laughs> so starts with in the fifties with medium navy, royal purple, deep purple. Purple is 68 to 70. Deep hyacinth is 71 to 72. 73 was periwinkle. And when you get to 74, it rolls into royal blue. blue. Yeah, I don't think yeah. we have much. Those purples to blues to greens and yeah. greens to yellows to oranges mm -hmm. to red. Oh, okay. The well, hotter you are, the redder you are. There you go. But if you're just right, you're green. 
78, 79. Perfect. Time. I can't find my weather app. Oh my goodness. Where is my weather? Oh, there it is. Well, you should be writing those down. I am, and I have a thing and everything. Well, she's going to buy a far farmer's almanac at the end of the year to see what. <laughs> or go to Google a uh, farmer's almanac. Okay, so this is my yearly stuff. So weather service. Right here. Because they should all come from the same source. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. You see January, it's, it's all blank. Yeah. yeah. I was just yeah. Wow. And each so each butterfly is how many stitches each each day? Each but um about seven. Seven six. Ten. Well, that's a lot of stitches for a single day. Well, but it gives you that nice flow. I think that's why I think the leaf tree is only like five, four yeah. stitches. Yeah. Per yeah. Leaf. That, yeah. That, the leaf is also <laughs> minimum and maximum. Yeah. Oh, today's high is 76. Okay. Almost close to perfect. Sun. The sun is nice and warm. All right, folks. I think we've said we started it with weather and we ended with weather. There you go. We, we sandwiched. We, okay, bookended. That sounds better than sandwich. You're okay. just hungry. Uh, yeah, 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 I gotta say. <laughs> all righty. I think we've said more than enough. We said it all. Yep. All of it. And don't forget. No, no matter, matter where, where you, you are, are, the sun is always shining when you're stitching. Bye. Bye.